Uh, it's a P51, so if I get a lucky hit like that... Come on. I... There we go. Hello, hello everybody. I'm Happy Bacon 777 and welcome back to War Thunder. Today we're doing some experimental tank gameplay and what I have for you is the 105 King Tiger, the Horton, and the Kugelblitz. Now to be fair, I do have the Panther 2, but I don't want to oversaturate this current lineup, so I'll be covering the Panther 2 in a separate video. So there are a few kind of differences about the 105 King Tiger, but of course the primary difference between this and the normal King Tiger is this amazing 105. Now before this was in the tech tree as a later version of the Tiger 2, but they kind of pulled it and if you still have it, you have it. But uh, look at this gun, it has a fantastic round, TNT equivalent of like 340, so you know whatever you penetrate you're going to kill. And also on top of that, the reload rate isn't that bad, it's only 13.8 for this type of a gun. I mean, I'll take that any day. And like I said, if we happen to do good, I'll be taking out the Horton. And if there is a lot of enemy planes up, I'll be taking out the Google Blitz. And without further ado, let's go. All right, we're gonna quickly capture Charlie and normally I would go over on the right side to support Bravo, but it does seem like they're pushing pretty hard on Alpha, so I'm gonna to try to go down this street and try to give them a little support. Ah, uh, unfortunately we overpenned that uh, little armored car. It just so happened that I have high explosive, but I didn't have it loaded in at the time. Ooh, I'm taking a bit of a sneaky approach over to Alpha. I'm trying to stay off of that main road for now. I believe I see a smoke trail of a tank over there. So we're gonna try to see if we can surprise him. Oh yeah, somebody is definitely there. Oh no, somebody else is over there. Oh, and of course it's a French tank. So I'm just gonna try to sit right here and, oh no, another French tank, they ambushed me. All right, it seems like I have some good teammates that were able to cover my mistake right there. I'm going to see if I can try to knock down this AMX that's over at Alpha, though. Oh yeah, he's right there. Let's see. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, I do hear somebody in front of me. I don't know exactly where he's at, but I'm going to try to mark it for my team. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh! Oh, he managed to knock out my horizontal turret drive just before I was able to swing my gun around. All right, we're safe for now, but oh my goodness, there's so much French tanks. Ah, he got my barrel. Okay, I see him. Let's get him. Oh, how did that not go through? That was very weird. I just clipped the top of his tank. Ah, uh, you know what? We're just gonna roll straight up at him. Well, we're gonna try to at least. There we go. We're gonna try to get over to Alpha. And, ooh, there's a Pershing, I believe. Try to keep our turret angled, keep on approaching. Okay, we might be safe for now. We'll keep it angled. Oh, he missed. So I'm gonna just roll forward uh, just a tiny bit. If we can get him. There we go. Uh-oh, I see a duster over there. Let's see where he decides to go. Alright, I think I'm safe to roll up on him. I don't believe the uh, enemy has any more tanks up here. Alright, let's go. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Tiger. Uh-oh, got shot in the side. Who was it? Uh, it was a tiny tank over there. We'll try to get him so he doesn't flank our M41. Gonna also call him out to our team. Oh, he tried to kill me. Let's see, what tank is that? Oh, it's a T-92. Okay, yep, there we go. 
Oh, this guy completely flanked us. I'll try to set up over here to catch him. Okay, it's just a T-34. I'm gonna see if I can get him in the side. There we go. And fantastic. We pulled that game back surprisingly well. It really seems like I'm getting Flanders more and more often. I mean, I don't mind it. I just wish they would change up the capture points. Let's see if we can get this one guy kind of far range. There we go. Well, you know what? I feel like this is a pretty solid position. I might just stay here for a while. I get this uh, T-92. Oh, wait. What? Oh, I must have hit the, uh, the bush right in front of him. Well, let's try that again. There we go. Oh, there's an enemy tank trying to shoot over a hill. Let's see. Um, maybe that'll hit. Try that. Oh, beautiful. Well, even though this is a fantastic sniping tank, I'm going to try to push up to uh, help out this IS-4 over there. Because I believe he was taking fire, yeah, from somewhere in that town. Okay, I might have a good shot at him. There we go. Wow, this tank's key points are definitely to snipe. Because with this armor and this really high velocity, I mean, it makes it an absolute breeze. Oh, more Flanders with potentially the same sniping spot? Don't mind if I do. You know what? I'm going to try to go at it at a different angle. That way I'm a little bit higher up so I can potentially shoot any tanks that are down here. Like this guy. Let's see if I can hit him. Nope, he's taken care of. Oh, let's see what range this guy is at. Ooh, 1,000. Oh man, let's see if we can get him. Oh, and of course it's a Super Pershing. We should be able to hit him if we hit him in the right area, but of course at, you know, a kilometer out, it might be a bit difficult. We'll try to shoot a little bit lower. Let's see how that goes. And it's a ricochet. Yeah, this might take a while. Oh, or not. Enemy kill assist. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, and of course it's a T-95. Oh, the one tank I don't want to deal with. No, I might as well start rolling up. You know, I don't want to be staying there the whole match. Plus, we look pretty exposed on this flank, so I'm going to try to secure it the best I can. Alright, let's see if we can finally take care of this T-95. Get right there. Oh, I, of course I hit the one spot that he's, like, really well armored. I'm gonna try to go a little bit to the back. Oh, no, he's really well angled. You know, I'll just take care of this guy. Oh, I'm sorry, little dude. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, the flying wing. So, I will admit... I'm not the best at air-to-air -air combat with this thing, but I'll see what I can do. Especially see if I can support that 262 that is now on fire. Well, this kind of sucks. I was hoping to get some good ground pound action, but this guy is trailing me like crazy. I might just try to turn in and deal with him. Yeah, that seems like the best. I'll just see what I can do head ahead. Oh, got a critical hit, and he's down. Ooh, now what really sucks is I know there's a 163 somewhere on the ground, but I do not know exactly where he's at. But you know what? I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to try to go for one of these ground targets. See if I can... Oh, nope. I hear him. Oh, I'm so dead. Let's see if I can get this guy at least. All right. And surprisingly, he hasn't hit me. Oh, wow. All right, let's see. I know he's on the other side of this ridge line. Oh, there he is. Come on. Hey, there we go. Oh, and then only to get shot down up by a 50 cal. So Vulcan couldn't kill me, but a 50 cal could. 
Now, Normandy is going to be kind of interesting for this tank because I do have the option to go long range, but the capture points are in the town, so I'm going to try to follow my team and maybe support them from the back. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to support them right here and defend this flank because this guy is trying to push over here. Definitely going to stop him from doing so. Hey, awesome job. Let's see who is over here. I think there's a super Pershing. I don't see anybody for now. I'm definitely not going to risk rolling out. Oh, well, you know what? If the little guy's going, then I got to go. Yeah, go get him. Oh, nice. Nice job. Alrighty, we're at a pretty nasty crossroads. Yep, there's a super pershing and oh I, You know, I was trying to go through his turret, but man, this guy's really showing me up Good job little guy Oh, oh that surprisingly didn't kill me. Oh Man That is why you really need situational awareness Okay, I'm just gonna stay angled for now. Hopefully uh, this little chat will take care of him. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, that's an artillery piece. Oh, I might die. Yep. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get the anti-air from the back line and kind of see him through the trees. Let's see if this works. Oh, come on. Oh, how is that not a kill? Just about everything in that tank is busted. Yeah, I guess we can try again on this guy. We get some very good side hits, and he takes care of me. Uh, yeah, I was way too low and way too slow. Yeah, I guess I just have to travel around with a Kugel Blitz now. I mean, this tank's really, really good. I just hope whatever I'm shooting is anti-air or light tanks. Oh, I feel like this isn't going to go as planned because I don't have the best penetration and I just have high explosive belts loaded in the tiny bit of AP, but let's see. Oh, come on. Come on. How are you not dead? There we go. All right, let's see if we can actually manage on capturing this point. It is kind of ridiculous that the cap zone happens to be close enough to the uh, enemy detection zone. Because I'm pretty sure it's not the same for Bravo, so it kind of puts us at a pretty solid disadvantage. Ooh, honestly, I have no idea where to go on this map tactically, so I'm just gonna go straight for Alpha. It might turn out good, or I might just die instantly. Oh, oh, I totally biffed that. I somehow I thought I could go through the side as if this is top tier, but unfortunately, I was wrong. We yeah, have second chance. There we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Ah, I live. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that is rough. You know, I was looking at the mini map and I was like, okay, the team's got this side. We've already got people on the cap, so what's the chances of an enemy tank going to be right there? Yeah, it was a surprise T-34. Alright, let's see if I can actually set up to a good attack position on this guy, because, like I said, I'm not the best with air-to-air. -air. Let's see. Oh, that was nice. Oh, no, there's another enemy plane up. Oh, I'm really not comfortable with these slow-velocity 30s. It's a P-51, so if I get a lucky hit like that... Come on. I... There we go. Oh, this anti-air is really waiting for me. Uh, let's see if I can get him. Oh, I almost hit him. Come on. There we go. Oh, gosh. More anti-air. Yeah, I'm just going to run back to the base. I am nearly about to fall out of the sky. Ooh, I see a little anti-air. Oh, he's really tucked behind some buildings, so I don't know if I'll be able to get him. Oh, wow. Come on, pal. Don't pass out. Come on, Rudder. Oh, man. You see, 
doing ground attacks with this plane is completely different. Let's see if I can at least get these guys. Oh yeah, critical hit. Oh no, yep, yeah, he's shooting at me. Maybe a 50 cal is gonna take me out again. Oh, again, again, I can't get on target. Oh, yep, there I go. Hey, there we go. It's not lost yet. Oh, wow, so we're going to lose, but our really good ally just called it a nuke. He might be able to make it in time. Gonna see if I can maybe decap it while he bombs. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Oh, there's somebody over there. We'll try to get him. Oh, not soon enough. All right, everyone. That was a little bit of gameplay of the 105 King Tiger, the Horton, and a little bit of the Kugel Blitz. Now, what are my final thoughts on this tank? Honestly, I think it's an absolutely amazing tank. Uh, there's a couple games where you do good, a couple games where you do bad. But honestly, you get into a good hold down position and this tank can pretty much eviscerate the whole enemy team if played really well. But of course, if you happen to get into city maps, you definitely have to watch your corners because this gun poking around a corner gives off your tank a lot sooner than you'd like to. And of course, I love the Horton, even though I'm not the best at it. It still performs absolutely amazing, and I've seen some people pull off some really wacky stuff with this. So definitely check out this plane if you haven't already. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.